Hi folks, for the project of today we only need a couple of old light bulbs. First let me wear a glove for a safety reason. And now we can handle the light bulb this way. Let's take some sandpaper and we are ready to work our light bulb. But first let me wear also a safety mask because we are going to produce a lot of glass dust and it's very dangerous. After 4 or 5 minutes we can already see that the light bulb is uh, I made a hole, a very precise hole. After 8 or 10 minutes, this is again the result, a very precise cut. We need now to take away also the tungsten on wire and the glass that is in the center. I suggest you to use some pliers to crash the glass that is in the center. Be careful to don't, don't break everything and pull apart the component. And here it is. Now let's take another light bulb. This time we don't need to cut it in half, we just have to remove the bottom part from this light bulb and also from the one I showed you earlier. So same, same process on some sandpaper and here it is, uh, we find a, a hole that is in the center and inside this little hole we can place a screwdriver and break completely the glass, the black glass. We use some pliers to remove the remaining components and here it is. Recapping, we have two light bulbs and both has the bottom take apart, open. Now let's take a dropper, this is 8 cm dropper and we have to uh, take apart the glass from the plastic. So pull very strongly and here it is. We need to glue in place the dropper on the bottom of the light bulb we have cut in half. So let me place first a metal washer and we can seal it in place using some silicone. After 8 or 10 hours that the silicone dries, here it is. We are ready now to glue in place the dropper on the bottom of the light bulb using some more silicone. And this is a very sturdy, be very careful, it has to be sealed, doesn't have to pass air. We take now a rubber gasket, this I took it apart from a beer cap and using some super glue we can glue in place the rubber on top of the light bulb. This time I'm talking about the full light bulb, not the one we have cut in half. Let's take now some light bulb holder. We need to take it apart and we take the center of this light bulb holder. I'm talking just of this component that is the one where we can screw inside the light bulb. The bottom part we, we don't need it so we can screw it, screw it away. We take another lamp holder and we do the same thing and so we have got a couple of light bulb holder. With some uh, scissors we can cut uh, away the parts here and here and this is again the result. Now using some metal wire I sew together the two light bulbs holder together but you can use simple glue or silicone to, to do this thing. So recapping here is how it works. We can insert the dropper inside the full light bulb and we can use the lamp holder to keep the things together very firmly and strong. In this process we may have to make sure that the rubber gasket seals exactly the, the light bulb, doesn't have to pass air. At the shop I bought these coffee filters, are in paper and they are very cheap. With some scissors I cut a circular shape that stays in the bottom part of the on the top lamp. We, I use a metal washer to keep in place the, the paper just, just by its weight. I made a structure and in a alcohol stove and using some strong magnets I'm going to secure them on top of the metal pole that is on this structure. So I can connect the light bulb but first let me put some water inside the full light bulb that is on the bottom. 
Let's see now how a simple coffee maker works. It works by pressure. So we have water in this part. Once the water starts to boil, becomes steam. So the steam push the water down. The only place where water can go is inside the li this little tube, inside the coffee, pass through the coffee and goes up. And finally we have the coffee ready to drink. So, as I told you, it works just by pressure. We have the water that becomes steam and we have the pressure. The coffee maker I'm building, it works by the opposite force. It works by vacuum. So, how to make vacuum at home? We take a container, we drop some water inside and we place the container on a heat source. For example, this fire. Once the water starts to boil, it becomes steam. If we let the container cool down, uh, we do it very fast, for example, from fire to ice, the thing is very spectacular. And we have vacuum. We can take now a couple of spoon full of coffee and drop it inside the top light bulb container. We can light on fire the alcohol stove, but you can use a simple candle, for example. We place the flame under the light bulb full of water, and after 4 minutes, all the water from the bottom goes on the top. Now it works by pressure. In fact, we have the water that becomes steam and build pressure inside the bottom container. Later becomes vacuum. As you can see, water starts to mix with the coffee, and under the water continue to boil and be, uh, becomes steam and the steam continue to move the coffee that is on top giving all the flavor and the taste to the water. After 8 minutes uh, you can see that the coffee is ready, it's very nice and we can move away the flame or just blow it off and here is the interesting part. On the bottom container starts to build a vacuum. This vacuum starts to suck all the coffee that is on top. It, it isn't a gravity force, it's just pure vacuum. And as you can see, the coffee that comes down is very clean and I'm very, very interesting to taste it. So in less than five minutes we've got a very nice coffee. The color is very strong and I hope also the taste. So let's see how it tastes like. And we are ready to taste it. Yeah, dude, this is great. It has a very strong taste and it smells very, very nice. So, all depends on how much coffee we put on top and how long do we keep the water boiling down. I keep it boiling for about 7 minutes and this is very, very nice. So, let me know if you enjoy. Like is always appreciated and I leave you with my two-pass project. How to make... A Surface speaker, this is an audio speaker that works only when it's on top of a surface. For example, the table becomes all the table of the speaker. And I leave you also with this video, how to make a microphone from an old hard drive. See you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao ciao! Woo!